All right, what up, two? Coming at you. Um, quick little update on the rims. Got them mounted. Got the rears mounted. This is the uh, the 305 uh, 2522s. Um, you can see it. 305 2522s. Um, got them mounted today. Uh, well, yesterday I sent them over. Um, said it took a minute just to get them mount it but um i like the way they look um it's gonna give me the look that i need um so you know we got the deep lip in there as you can see get a whole hand in there um in a deep lip um i didn't want them to balance it but they balanced them anyway for free so it is what it is but i just got to get it up so i can get them mocked once i get um everything mocked up onto the to the chevelle in the rear see i'm gonna drop the rear end again see how everything is fitting where i want it to fit take my measurements put the wheels back on um the rear end and i'm gonna use them as a roller uh, but then that let me know how much i have to cut on the axle as well as how much i'm gonna have to notch um some other things that came in today was um my bolts um with this hres when you when you order an hres they they're special order so um the guy that I got these from, he had these on a Range Rover, which the way that the lugs bolt up is different from the way that normal lugs bolt up. So I had to get what's called a, a, a mag bolt. So the mag bolt, it has a, a washer to it and it sinks into the hole um, to keep it all locked in. So I was able to find some with the, with the correct thread count. Um, this is a 7 16th by 20 from Summit Racing. So I was able to get those, those came in. I also, these right here, um, my, new, uh, my new studs. I had brought some new studs, a, a full set of new studs to make them longer. Cause when you're doing aftermarket, aftermarket tires, um, the back plate, the back plate back behind here where it rests on the hub and everything. Um, it's it's a little bulked out, so um, I got longer studs so they can come through. So I'm gonna have to take all the studs out, put these new studs back in, which that's not gonna be too big of a deal, too much of a problem. Um, once I get all that stuff done, then I can mock up the wheels and all that. So I got that. And then um, my sump came um, for the fuel injection for the LS. Um, I'm gonna put a sump in the, in the, uh, in the gas tank. And um, so all the gas will go here. You have your inlet and your outlet. So gas will be sucked out and then it'll have a return line that'll pump it back in. So I have those that came. And then one other thing um, is my, um, this is for my hood to latch the uh, hood down. Um, normally the Chevelles, they don't have a, a, a pull string inside the Chevelle to pop the hood. You normally go in the front and there's a lever there, so you hit the lever and that pulls the hood up. Um, most Chevelles, um, they uh, run the lanyard and the regular little um, hood pin. Um, I have a set of those, but um, when I seen these, I really like them, I like the way they are. Um, basically, you have this, this piece here, and then you have this right here. This is what screws into the, um, to the core support, radiator core support. And I only got one hand, so it's gonna be difficult for me to show you, but it, the ball goes on top of it. And when the ball goes on top of it, it locks it. And then the only thing you have to do is push it. Um, let me see if I can get it with one hand. Um, you just gotta, now it's locked. So that's just extra security. And I like these because um, I've seen a lot of testimony with people um, saying that the lanyard scratched up their paint job. If you know you're doing candy paint or a tri coat, you don't want to scratch up the paint. So I thought this would be kind of cool. And to release it, obviously you you'll release these first, um, and then you'll pull the front the front um, uh, uh, lever to open up the hood. Let me see if I can just pop it off real quick. And see, it just opens up. So yeah, these are pretty cool. Um, a little bit more expensive than what I want to spend. Um, for some, but it'll give the car an extra little pop that I that, that I like. Um, something that you know Chevelle has, but it's a little different. So, yeah, it's a little bit it's a little bit like Christmas today. Um, 
came in, got all my stuff in. So basically, um, once I, once I, once the weather um, acts right, I can get out there in the garage and make some things happen. Um, also, um, I sealed the the rims myself, um, the three piece rims myself. Um, I went to uh, one of the local stores here, um, rim shops that sell big boy rims, and I asked them how much they was gonna charge me for each rim. Dude told me two fifty per rim just to get it sealed. Um, I almost I almost lost it. I'm like two fifty. That's ridiculous. So basically, I would have to had paid five hundred just to get them to this point. Actually, five forty because in plus tax because that's without them um, mounting the tire. So I'd have had to pay five forty just to get the rears done. Then I would have to take them back apart. Then take the front and the rears back up to them to get them all mounted after I get them powder coated or painted or whatever the case may be. Seal it. So you talking almost two grand just in just getting things mocked up. And I said, man, I, I, I went on YouTube, learned how to do it myself. Um, basically, um, you know, I learned how to do it, cleaned it up myself. And then this is the, the silicone that I was using. Um, it's the metal, metal silicone. It's a metallic gray. It's a silicone two. Make sure you get the silicone two. And it's made by um, GE, I believe. Yep, GE. Made by GE. So, yeah, I just got this right here. Um, clean, cleaned it up pretty good. And um, I ran a bead um, of it around the holes, like in like a dot, like like an M, kind of going in and out. And then sandwiched it all together. You got about 30 minutes of uh, to dry time. <laughs> Um, put the bolts in, um, hand tightened them, and then I torqued all of them down. I went 20 pounds and then to 30 pounds. I, t I tightened them up to 30 pounds. And then um, they've been, they had these done late, late yesterday and they've been holding air. So no leaks in it. I'm going to do a leak check anyway. Some soapy water, spray it down, see if it leaks. Um, I may even submerge it underwater just to see. But no, no leaks or anything like that. So. Hell, I did a good job saving myself some money, and I feel confident enough to do all my rims with no problems. Um, right now, I'm just waiting on um, a holler at HRE. Um, they're going to send me a new um, center cap for all of them. And then um, I think I'm waiting on one other thing. I can't think of it right now off the top of my head, but they should be. it should be here. Um, pretty soon, but yeah, man, these are the, uh, the HRE 22, um, uh, by 11 and a half with the, with the, uh, eight inch lip. Uh, it's an eight inch lip inside, um, span my whole hand It's about eight inches or so. Um, so, I mean, that's them. They, they look good. I mean, they look good just like this. I actually like it with that that brushed aluminum look with the with the painted um face so i may end up just trying to brush the other ones out um get some sandpaper and kind of get that brush into them and then um get them mounted and, and paint the face whatever color i'm gonna paint the face and then clear the whole rim um and, and do it that way i don't know yet oh i know the other thing i'm waiting on um hre they also sending me a couple more boats because um, they only sell them in packs of five, so it is what it is, but you can see this bolt is missing. Um, this bolt is, is basically from where the um, old air, air tube will go um, to pump the air in. Um, I didn't have another one. I could have took it off another, another rim, but I would need it anyway. But because it's so tight, I'll show you. Um, let me see if I can get this one up real quick. Because it's so tight in the back, you can see how tight it is. Um, it wasn't able to turn into that hole. So basically, I had to do, um, if you ever had some dubs, um, my dubs was just like this where you air it up in the back. So that's basically how it is. Um, so I got that one coming. And then um, I need another one for that hole in the back that goes to the room. But for the most part, I just needed it for mock-up. So. Um, I'm not going to be riding them, so I know, I, you know, there's no safety issue uh, with me not having them in. But anyway, too, just stay tuned, and uh, I'll holler at you.